As a part of the stage one upgrade, we have to remove the impeller and swap that out with a Solus impeller and a different size wear ring. After removing the jet pump assembly, we start by removing the impeller cover and that has three cap screws. Remove the impeller nose cone, which is reverse threaded. We'll be using a SeaDo impeller removal tool, which captures the ID of the impeller splines so that you can loosen this off of the impeller shaft. When removing the impeller, those threads are normal rotation. I did have to use a long cheater pipe to break this loose. Just as a visual, I put the new impeller into the original wear ring. You can see the clearance on this. Uh, that means the impeller that I'm putting in is actually smaller, but the pitch is steeper. That change in impeller size is part of the stage one kit. To remove the existing impeller wear ring, I used a razor to score this, and then I used some pliers to break that score by twisting the wear ring. And well, maybe a screwdriver and a pry bar as well. Since I have a press, I just simply press the wear ring into the fit. You may not have this, and if not, uh, what you want to do is put that wear ring in the freezer, get that nice and cold to shrink it, and take, some, take a heat gun and warm the casing up to grow that and install by hand at your workspace. the impeller to 92 foot-pounds. I added o-ring grease to all of the o-rings for the nose cone, even though the inside of this will get greased up pretty good when we put the drive shaft in. Um, after this, you make sure you reverse the thread so you're going to turn this in backwards just tighten this up by hand i cleaned up the pump bearing i added brp grease uh, this is the process for adding grease and relubricating your jet pump you basically just clean everything up and pile that grease on high so that it fits inside of the uh, impeller cover. CRC 656 oil to clean everything up and give some protection. 